Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode of a series of videos that has the objective to help you discover ISM design experience embedded in 3D experience platform. My name is Fabio Ballari, I'm Product Portfolio Specialist for Surface Refinement in Katia. If you haven't watched the first video, I strongly invite you to click the link below in the description. Otherwise, let's jump to the today topic. Today we're gonna talk about general UI improvement or ISM design experience. Here we go. So let's have an overview of the general interface. You can see on the top left of the screen we have the compass where we can easily access to the ISIM Design Experience Hub. Still on the top left we have the notion of tabs, so each tab corresponds to a 3D part or an assembly. And of course you can open and create as many tabs you need. You have the search tab, you can retrieve the latest search and very easily access to the database of your collaborative space. In order to filter the search result, you have the tag. You can really define precisely and reach the product that you are looking for. In order to create or import a new 3D part, you just go on the top right by clicking on the plus button. ISIM Design Experience user in this phase has been totally redesigned. You can see that we have the new V-Bar, the new V-Nav, we have the palette with several tabs in order to provide to the user easy access to all the function you need on a daily basis. In addition to that, we have the action bar on the bottom part of the screen where you can retrieve and access to general commands. Going back to the VNAV, we have access to the settings of ISIM Design Experience and user has the choice to choose between ISIM Surf traditional navigation and Katia navigation. Of course, this app is touch ready so you can navigate using the graphic user interface. Precisely define the center of rotation by starting navigation on top of precise area. You can define the working plan by clicking on mid mouse button on the VNAV. You can also pan precisely following a specific direction, locking the axis. You can also have stretch view, zoom scaling, with unproportional zoom scaling and all the tool that traditional surface modeler needs for the basics navigation and visualization. You can lock pan mode, rotation and switch from the standard automotive view, top, down, left and so on. So let's now focus on the palette. You can see we have a very important one, which is the skirting palette, the analysis palette, organize and display modes. You can switch from a tab to another one. You also have the traditional Katia spec tree on the left, where all the geometry is stored. And you also have a new way to organize the data. With the organizer tab, you can create display list, switching from a display list to another one, but also frames and all these tools really help the user to organize the geometry. You can see that as we are integrated in Katia, we can directly load mechanical, bottom-wide engineer surfaces and data in order to take in consideration technical constraints since the beginning of the project without any data import or export. Display shader has been improved with predefined display shaders. You can appreciate the perception of the shapes thanks to the predefined display shader. And very easily, we can activate control point and start sculpting. Quick access to analysis tool by using mouse menu. We are able to access to analysis, control point sculpting and all the tools traditional surface modeler needs on daily basis. Section analysis. We also have quick access to visualization because visualization rendering is now part of the modeling experience enabling the user to have, again, better perception of the shapes he's creating. It's also a way to analyze the shapes. You 
can have access to background you can switch real time and of course by pushing on the button we can retrace at any time creating photorealistic images without again any data import or export we just put in materials background everything can be calculated very quickly at any time you can change the background and you see how the material are real-time reacting on top of the geometry and the highlight you can see real-time the interaction between the materials geometry and highlight the palette can be dockable undockable you can combine the display of multiple tab put organize on the left for instance dock it on the left side hide it and dock it back on the palette can also hide and show action bar and have more space to focus on the 3D. You can quickly define a different way to display thanks to the mouse menu, switching from the different standard view again very quickly with the mouse menu from the top to the left to the bottom center the view on a specific point so reframe the view on a specific point and of course the user interface is totally customizable so here you see we call the crown menu to easily have access to any kind of command and this can be customizable so you can set up as many space you want and for each slot you can drag and drop any kind of function really creating your own user interface your own shortcut to have access instantaneously to comments and saving lot of mouse miles you can see now the customized crown menu that's pretty much it for this overview of the ISIN Design Experience user interface. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this far, I'm sure you liked this channel. So please hit the button subscribe and see you in the next video.